covered here? A tasteful nude photograph is one that is artistic nice. or aesthetic in nature and does not depict explicit sexual activity or genitalia. Okay. It is a photo that celebrates the human body in a respectful and non-objectifying way. So, so no dongs, uh, no tacos, yeah. but buttocks and breasts probably are okay. So that's the one that I'm wondering about. Yeah, but I think it would have to be without the... So, I would say cheeks are fine, but... You know, yeah, okay. Starfish, not so much. Right. Yeah. But the top. That's why I'm saying yeah. it's a different yeah, color. No, yeah, it's not it's, it's not genitals. That's, it's still considered a secondary sex. So yeah. that's taste. Okay. okay. Look. I am not I, so if if I'm not the one defining it here. So if a lady player in a one of these The definition of a tasteful new photograph would not change based on the gender of the person that made the It is important to note, however, that different cultural and societal norms may affect how a yeah. photograph is perceived, and the same photograph may be considered tasteful in one context and not in another. Ultimately, it is a matter of personal judgment and individual interpretation. Thank you, chatbot. Because yeah. there's a lot of those. There's a different movement, like all this other kind of stuff. But yeah, if you want to support uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital, about the... Oh wait, we were supposed to do some rich messages. Oh. Uh, okay, hit us down. Yeah, that's actually a message. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, this is from Maximilian. Love the backpack and screwdriver. I'd like to know how to take on innovation in your kids and space or back there up. It feels like nothing has happened since the index. Not counting the updates from Meta. Well, I wouldn't call what Meta's been doing incremental. I mean, we got it. Yeah, you got to understand, a lot of what's being done is on the software side. I, I think as hardware enthusiasts, we can tend to uh, be dismissive of software innovations. And you could, you know, you could look at, like, the, the GPU space and kind of go, oh, there's, like, nothing happening. They, they only, we only get new GPUs, like, every three years now. This is ridiculous. Uh, but on the software side, there's a lot happening to enhance our gaming experiences. And I think we've just got to learn to be... Even if it's, you know, not as fun, not as exciting, we've got to learn to be a little more, more open-minded. I mean, um, I would also argue that the newest update, while expensive, is a nice jump for people that want to jump. Oh, you mean the Quest 2 Pro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's... The, the, how slim it is, uh, like the, the weight drop, if you're like, that's, those are not the easiest things to accomplish. I don't know that the, the complete package is really my cup of tea. I'd rather have something more like an Index 2. Oh yeah, I'm, not, I'm, like not, a, I'm just saying there is innovation happening. I'm not necessarily sure. saying it's the exact stuff that I would want. Um, I would also argue that if there is a company throwing, uh, as far as I can tell, infinite amounts of blank checks at a project, it might not seem the most worth investing in as a competitor, uh, while they seem to be burning to the bottom, uh, might as well let them do all your research for you. Uh, it's a lot easier to reverse engineer than to originally engineer. Uh, so I, I think competitors right now, if anything, are probably just sitting and waiting and going like, yep, keep doing it, and we'll do similar things later. Uh, yeah. Because like it doesn't it doesn't look like <laughs> I mean, look, look at Facebook's finance or meta. Like a meta's financials, this doesn't look like the most exciting thing to jump into. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we're going to continue with the VR, the VR lane. We got one for you from Jerry. Hi, Linus. If you looked at the base station with some full body tracking like Slime VR or Peritora X, uh, even though I daily my index is a lot of fun, but my quest to play VR chat, my own 
house is a blue space. But slime is I think. You ever heard of these? Slime VR full body tracker. Uh, no, I can't say that I'm familiar with this. They raised a million dollars. I just like completely missed this evidently. Oh, okay. So they're just trackers that the inside out um, tracking on the Quest can see. Oh. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, no, I, I'm sorry, I can't say I can't say I've seen that before. No. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, as someone who doesn't really do chat VR, um, I mean, the concept of being in a state where I have nothing else to do that I must do, such that I can just sit and talk with someone, is like boring to me at this point. Like on it honestly, I, I just I, I, I wouldn't actually I wouldn't actually I've had a lot of people ask me, like, do you want your kids to like, run the company or like are you grooming them to be YouTubers or whatever else? And that's it, you're going like I don't regret any of my choices. I I don't, I don't really believe in that, or at least I you know, I try not to. Um, but I don't know that it's the best either. Um, like I, 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 I wish I could just a lot of stress involved with talk on the social letters. Just talk, you know, just hang out. Um, like, hanging out is not really something that I get to do very often. Work ending when you go home is a completely foreign concept for both of us. Yeah. It has been for a decade. Um, yeah. There's definitely downsides to it. Especially around here. Like, trades are cool. You can find immediate work that ends when you go home. Yeah. Like the, the demand for people in trades right now is wild. Absolutely if, wild. If you're any good. Oh, not if, even if you're if good. If you show up, if yeah. you say you're going to be there, yeah. you will find work. Oh, I yeah. promise you. Yeah. yeah. I know people that would employ you. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. security because there's way too much to work on. Um, that immediate employment out of school, a lot of places that will employ you as an apprentice and, and pay for or partially subsidize your, your education. Um, good pay right out of school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also, uh, it can also be kind of a, a downer for me, like if what I'm actually after is just like casually interacting with people, being a public figure and showing up somewhere like VR chat. What are the odds that I'm just going to get to be anonymous? And I mean, that, that happened in Star Season, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's a thing. I love that Star Citizen is, like, the metaverse, but before the metaverse was coined. It's just a star-themed metaverse. It's a metaverse branding. It's just it's stupid. I hate meta as a company name. It's so annoying. I don't, I'm sure it'll happen eventually, but I don't see myself not calling it Facebook the meta. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a road much longer name now. Yeah, I've got another one here from Lori. Do you have, Lori, Lori, do you have any ideas on how to collect community suggestions for products review in the labs? Like voting, but somehow normalizing my product type popularity. The goal for labs is to not need suggestions. Yeah. The goal for labs is to it's test everything. Do everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, once we get kind of caught up, the idea is that we could occasionally go back and test very consequential older products just in case people are using them and want a comparison point for uh, some new thing that they're considering. Uh, but the idea really would be to test every damn keyboard, like every one that comes out. Uh, so that whatever it is you're looking for, it would already be on the site. That's the goal. Alright, why don't we find another topic to jump into? Okay. Young man crashes the Game Awards, rants about Bill Clinton, we talk about gets that? arrested. Neither of us have seen the video, so should we watch it? I've seen the video. Oh, you, oh I thought you had? Uh, I didn't watch the Game Awards, but I didn't understand what the heck people were talking about, so I watched the like second clip or whatever it is. 
that's far more enjoyment than I got out of it. I just like didn't really care. The complete and utter confusion of the people around him is what I'm enjoying. That was probably more funny. Um, <laughs> the internet loved this. I was like surprised that it was able to happen. Um, <laughs> Valve was giving away a 512 gig Steam Deck every minute during the Game Awards, which is crazy. It's pretty cool. It means I guess they uh, are doing okay in terms of catching up on their production. Yeah. Um, Elden Ring won Game of the Year, which is I, I thought that was surprising. pretty expected. Um, I don't know if I've ever watched It's not that it's a bad thing, I just don't watch any of the shows. Like, at all. Yeah, I, I can't say that I'm that interested in awards shows. I, I feel like a lot of the experience can be had by skimming through the summary article the next day. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not against the concept, I'm just not, it's not just a person. Apparently he was uh, potentially arrested. Paul Tassi from Forbes got in touch with him. He couldn't talk about being arrested. Uh, he says Bill Clinton is his hero. Apparently the kid has pulled a couple other stunts previously, I didn't know this part. Uh, he shouted Free Hong Kong at a World of Warcraft panel in 2019. Also in 2019, he held up a sign to the Clippers game about Hong Kong after pretending it was a sign for the team. Alright. Um, Austin, Mr. Krabs asked, Hey Linus, can you quickly touch on the decision behind stopping the They're Just Movies podcast? I gotta say, um, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a shocker for me and a frustrating one. Um, I've talked, I feel like, a lot about people assuming the worst of me lately, and this was. So why did you? Yeah, why did you shove the dagger in the back of their uh, Yeah, this was this was yet another situation like that that was really frustrating for me. Like I understand I'm sort of the the, the front man here. Um, not every decision that I make is, you know, necessarily uh, understandable to everyone uh, or right. Uh, I don't always get it right, but for people to assume some kind of, of malice or some kind of evil or whatever else uh, when we're making a business decision and doing something, it just feels so unfair. Like, sure, by all means, ask. Austin Mr. Krabs is doing it right. Ask me. I'm not actually that difficult to get in touch with. Um, but why would you assume, for example, that, you know, oh man, I've read some super frustrating stuff. Like, you know, what is up with Linus not being able to give some of his employees, you know, a little bit of time you know, three man hours a week to record this passion project. Why is it always about all about money with him? And I'm kind of sitting here going, well, okay, there's so much wrong with this. A, it's not one hour each, but you think it's the whole, it's edited, right? So they actually do record for longer than that. You have to edit it. They, okay, so you're, A, you're wrong about the time commitment. It's a lot more than you think. Um, B, it, I wasn't even the one who brought it up. Like, the, the, the discontinuation of the They're Just Movies podcast was not a Linus initiative. So you're just making assumptions. Um, there, there are business reasons why it probably doesn't make sense to continue. And to tell you, it's not profitable. <coughs> but that is not the reason that it was ultimately shelved. Um, if that was the reason, it would have been. It was, it's, yeah, <laughs> it was a team decision, and it's one that I don't know if the, if the, the team behind the podcast is going to talk about how everyone feels about it individually, but ultimately it was a team decision that was made, and we're not able to move forward with it. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm evil, it just means that for Linus Media Group Incorporated, it doesn't make sense to continue that project. Like, what do you... Come on, guys. Ugh. Yeah, evil Linus shoots down small podcast. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Blaze Henry 1 says, Linus, you're taking random criticism on the internet way too personally. 
my personal critique of you on the internet. Yeah, the thing is that it is personal, right? It, it, it is personal. It's this personal attack that is just based on an assumption rather than being based on something that I've actually done. And a lot of the time flies in the face of every public action that I've ever taken before and since. So it's just, yeah, very, 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 very frustrating. We've taken a lot of criticism over the years. Sometimes it's super founded, sometimes yeah. it's not. Oh, sometimes um, it's very valid. And it's it's 